Chad LeBron, Ethan Fiore, Dominic Chapel, David Eubanks. Hello, uh, thank you for your time. My name is Chad LeBron. I have lived in Spotsylvania for a long time. My wife and I have raised our nine-year-old daughter in Spotsy. We love it here. We love the outdoors. I own two businesses in Spotsylvania County. I own the Lab Martial Arts and Three Range Combatives. I do not even like calling them businesses because this is my life. I teach people to defend themselves. It is my passion. And these people here, they're freedom-loving, gun-toting Americans, and I love that. I, I am a strong supporter of the Second Amendment, but I'm here to keep heads calm. That's the most important thing. We must educate and not hate our fellow Americans. Um, like the lady earlier, you know, I, I have friends like this. They, they think differently than we do. They're not bad people. I know a lot of them have good hearts. Our job is to educate them. Our job is to help them. Our job is to explain to them. Uh, at the lab, martial arts, I teach thousands of our county's residents, men, women, children, to defend themselves. And I see the confidence in them grow and they become successful American citizens. And the problem that makes me sad is I have people come in, mainly women, but it's after they've been attacked. And they're really good people and they didn't take it seriously. They didn't think it would happen to them. And then they come in and their whole life changes. And, 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 and I don't like bullies. I try to be kind, I try to help people, but I understand there's evil out there. And I believe in good and evil. One of my favorite quotes is, there could be no freedoms without laws. I believe in laws. I could just argue we might have too many, but that's a different topic. So, but um, when they come in, it changes their life. They learn to shoot, they learn to train, and they learn to protect themselves. You know, we always say hope is a course of action, but I choose to be trained. I choose to help people protect themselves if that's what they want. But like the other lady, we just see differently. Like when she said that example about uh, the guy that shot the girl, well, I look at it like if she had a gun, she might be able to defend herself. Because I'll be the first to admit, like, sides and strength help. Martial arts is great, but sometimes a gun is your best tool. So to be able to restrict somebody like that, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing it for somebody that grows up in an area that has to walk home at 2 in the morning, a single mom that has three jobs. You're going to strip her of her right to be able to defend herself? My other business, Three Range Combatives, I feel honored to be able to train some of the top military and law enforcement teams in the country throughout the world. And I get sent uh, to different countries by the government to teach our allies. And when I talk to them, they've been stripped of their rights. They don't have a Second Amendment. And when you lose a right, you don't get it back. So we must stand up for that, but in a peaceful way. And we must educate our fellow Americans. Very important. Sir, your time is expired. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it.